Oh, this is a good one. Big up man like incognito. What would you say? Uh, uh, yeah, what would you say? You wait, hold on. Motherfuckers, start speaking English in the comment section. Um, what would you say? You are <laughs> red flags on a woman. All right, so you said. What what would I say my uh, red flags are in a woman? I mean, I don't really like use these terms, red flags and that, but I was thinking about something today. Like, if a girl can't show me respect, then I just get rid of them. So, for example, I've spoken to many girls in my life, like me, I'm one of them men there that will go out on the street and chat to gal and get numbers, yeah? The man's got bare girls' numbers. That don't mean I've smashed them. Don't get it twisted. But I've been up a thousand girls, probably approach a thousand girls easily, yeah? But get a girl's number. Like, you man might see this as petty. It's up to you. I have standards. When I'm chatting to a girl, even as a joke, rude boy. Oh, shit, I might need to charge this. Yeah. Yeah, even as a joke... Like I said, you man might see this as petty, but even as a joke, if a girl says, oh, shut up, or shush, don't, don't tell me shut up, don't tell me shush, even as a joke, not serious, no tone, not even in a rude manner, not even as a joke, they can't tell me shut up or shush, yeah? So if a girl can't respect me that I don't like them ticks, I'll just get rid of them. Just get rid of them. Get rid of them. I've had it before. I was even thinking about this today earlier. One time I was chatting to one chick and I don't know, I think we were sending voice notes or something, didn't it? And I didn't like the tone of voice that she used. I said, listen, don't be using that tone of voice for me. Boom. And then carried on saying what I was saying. She messaged me back. She said, listen, yeah, you're not my dad. Don't talk to me like you're my dad. Cool. Yeah, so she said, you're not my dad. Don't talk to me like you're my dad. She left that voice note. I didn't even respond back saying, all right, I'm, I'm going to lock you up. Because I think what I said to her in the voice note was, don't talk to me like that or else we can't talk. Something along those lines, yeah? We won't be talking no more. She responded back saying, don't talk to me like that. You're not my dad. Are you, are you chatting to you like that? We didn't speak again. You don't give a fuck. How am I going to... Hey, look, I want to be PC. I don't want to look... Yeah. But how am I going to... How is she going to submit? Yeah? Yeah, if you understand. She, how is she going to lay on her back? And, and submit to a guy that she can't respect. Girls don't lie on their back for men they don't respect. So, to me, I mean, like, that's, I was about to say, that's a subconscious test. But it's not, I'm not even testing them. This is a standard that I have. Because the way I see it, if a girl can't respect me, how is she going to lie on her back and submit? So, fuck it. I just saved myself an extra week of talking to this girl and giving her free attention. So, yeah, that's like that. That's one thing. That's a standard that I set. If I go out on a date with a girl, if she pulls out her phone, yo, you need to put the phone away. You know, if she don't want to do it, then I'll get up and leave. It's been done before. I've, I've done it. I've done it before. You know, like so, man. She weren't my girlfriend, but like we were like seeing each other. But I was like her main guy. But we was like we've been seeing each other on and off. So what happened was, I think like her ex come in the picture. And again, she ain't my, my main, she ain't my, my girlfriend, but we see each other. I think she ran off and, and started seeing her ex again, innit? Ooh. So then this girl tried to come back and that, boom, started chatting to her again. Anyway, we went, met up at a restaurant and that. This girl tried to pull out her phone. I'm like, yo, put the phone away and that. She was like, what? I said, put the phone away. She's like, listen, it's my phone. I'll play on my phone if I want. I just got up and walked out, left her. Done. Um, Done. My girl, so the girl I'm with now, yeah. Obviously, we went out on a date. She didn't have her phone out. Cool. The next day, she took out her phone. I said, put the phone away. Or I'm or I'm leaving. Whatever I said. She put the phone away. My girl knows. Been together five years. We go out to a restaurant. She has to ask permission to pull out her phone. Can I just check something? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we ask permission. Man said, bro, why though? I'm not sitting down 
in front of my girl's phone. I, I seen it one time. There's this Turkish restaurant. I ain't been there in a while, but basically along the A406, basically like where Costco is near Chingford and that, there's a, a Turkish restaurant for Capital. Me and my girl cousin went there just about four or five years ago. And I'm seeing this mixed race chick on a date with some white you. Now I know, literally, she probably just said, all right, we'll go out on a date just for something to do. She had her phone literally in his face texting and he's just sitting there like some damn fool. And I sat there and I thought to myself, yeah, that, this is why I'm not letting no girl play with her phone whilst I'm sitting down paying for this meal. You're like a damn fool. Give me your undivided attention. Don't be here. So basically you're here to get a free meal and still enjoy the company of your friends, but not have to be around your friends. Fuck that, man. Ah, yeah, man. These are the standards that I set. I don't play about. Listen, I'll be lying in my bed. Sorry, one second. What the fuck? Oh, hopefully. Right, you lot on YouTube, I can't see the comments because something's popped up on my screen. But anyway, hopefully it will go in a minute. But anyway, um, I'll be lying in my bed. One second. If, you lot, if only you lot can see this foolishness that's going on on my screen. You know when you hit one, one button like page down or page up? Or like the FN buttons or whatever in it, and it starts popping up with stuff on your your laptop. Anyway, I'll be lying in my bed. Let's say it's ten o'clock. If I ask my girl, "Can you go downstairs and make me a cup of tea, please?" Yeah, I have manners. If she says no, I'm not doing it. That's it. We will have to break up. I'm not letting my girl tell me no. So hold in a minute. And certainly you don't be like, what. So she must be lying in her bed or whatever, comfortable. She must get up at 10 o'clock at night to go downstairs and make you a cup of tea. Yes. Do you know why? Because if someone breaks in the middle of the night at 10 o'clock or 2 in the morning, I will be going downstairs. Yeah? So what the fuck, blood? So yeah. Obviously, I ain't going to be an idiot. I'm not going to wake my girl up at midnight and make her go downstairs and make me a cup of tea if she's sleeping. I ain't going to do that. But yeah, these are the standards that are set. I have got full submission from my girl. And the only way to get the full submission is during breakups. Yeah? You see, a breakup, even if you, the man, doesn't instigate it, is one of the greatest things. Like you don't understand the leverage you can get from the breakup. Yeah. The reason why I got the power in that is because I know how to handle breakups. Yeah? Just do nothing. I know it sounds very simple, but it's actually very hard to do nothing. Because what do you do during a breakup? Whether it's your fault or it's not your fault, what happens during a breakup? You think, oh, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't have said it this way, or maybe I could have. Nah, nah. Whoever takes his first loses the battle, my friend. And even then, certain times, the ball is still in the girl's court, even though she texts Texas first after a two week break. Because girls know the game. They know, oh, he ain't texting me, but he's probably waiting to text me. He's waiting for me to text me. He's probably waiting for me to get to text him and that. So certain man, they will wait around and wait for the text. And then as soon as they get the text, all right, do you want to get back together and that? Calm your ass clock self down. Yeah. Even, even, even when the girl messages you, yeah, back after two weeks and that, yeah, don't be in a hurry to be linking up and meeting up because that means that you've just been sitting around waiting. No, 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 no. So, breakups. Mm. But breakups are unnecessary evil. At some point in the relationship, you're going to have to break up with the girl. I've heard stories where, you get me, girl's pregnant, and, and, you know, the man said, stop smoking or we're going to break up. The girl carries on smoking, and there was no breakup. She's lost all respect for that man there. Right, let me see this comment. Have you and your girl ever had a big argument where she had to move out? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't even a big argument. I, uh, 
politely removed her stuff for her. <laughs> yeah. I politely removed her stuff for her. Yeah. So, ladies, man, that, that's the answer to your question. <laughs>